Hey golfers, Tony here with Reactionary Golf. Well, we're kind of getting close to that uh, World Long Drive Championship and talking with Jeff up in Chicago. He's getting himself ready, putting some strength on, putting some speed on, getting the power going. So what I want to do today is talk to you about how you can add power into your golf swing the right way. One of the things that I see in our students sometimes when they first come to me is trying to create more club head, they're throwing more of their body into it. It's kind of this idea is, if, if, if I need to work hard, I gotta put everything into it. Unfortunately, golf is an underhand sport and it doesn't work that way. We need velocity, okay? We need from here to here as fast as possible. So the higher the velocity of this club, the further the balls go. Now, the body can add to that velocity, so we know that that right arm is a big component of that, and we've talked about that in our videos. But the body does add about 15%, so if we can get that body going, 15% um, is a good, could anywhere be 20, 30, 40 yards or so to your drives. So where does the body roll come into this? And really, what we're gonna see is there's two muscles that we're gonna be taking a look at. It's gonna be the right pec and your left lat and how they work in opposite directions to help kind of speed up our body through impact. So we kind of get this quicker upper body rotation through impact to accelerate and keep those arms driving through. So if I get up to the top of my backswing and I just say, okay, I'm gonna, Tony's talked about doing everything with his arms. Well, if I don't do anything with my body, my, my arms kind of get stuck. I'm gonna bottom out way behind the ball. So that sequence is really an arms and then body motion. And this upper body has to be rotating through the shot. It really doesn't come from the left arm, but because it's from the lat, a lot of people feel that left side of doing the work. So it's kind of like the analogy I use like on a revolving door. Somebody's coming this way, I want to go that way. We both push on it at the same time, same force. I actually add additional force to the door. Okay, so it gets multiplied. It's called a force coupling uh, approach to the swing. So how that works is once I get up to the top, arms are coming down and through impact, I'm hitting into a solid, strong left leg and I'm feeling my upper body, my lats pull this way, my right pec goes this way and my right hip goes that way. So that motion carries me forward and it's as simple as throwing a punch that way. So I'm feeling all this move through the shot. So it looks something like this. So I hope this makes sense, kind of review. Good motion at the top, great arm speed coming down into a solid left leg. I'm feeling this left side and this right side work this way through the ball. And that gives me that acceleration of my body this way, kind of like a top also. If you think about spinning the top, you're actually putting pressure on both sides to make it spin. So we're not spinning from the hips this way, it's actually a hit into that solid left leg, which is critical. So, good luck. South Alabama, Chris Doster. Sorry, I think the dogs are gonna pull this one out. Uh, and it's football season, especially down here in the SEC, even though it's still summer, almost 98 today. Uh, so good golfing and we'll talk to you soon, thanks.